If I wanted to be black, you would hear me talking about I'm black. I'm black. I would be saying the N-word. I don't act black. I don't... Who wants to be black? Well, <laughs> Hello everyone. I don't usually start my videos with a clip, but I've recently been watching Tiger King over on Netflix and I like just how dramatic you can make an introduction. Except instead of an introduction to a true crime documentary, I very much dumbed down the level of these videos. So today we're going to be talking about Instagram live streams. Although unlike Netflix, it is actually free to subscribe to this YouTube channel, so do it right now or I'll never look you in the eyes again. Another famous Netflix documentary is called Blackfish and today we're actually going to be talking about blackfishing. And no, I'm not trying to draw a comparison between Daniel Bregoli and a monstrous offshore mammal, although both are famous for their low frequency groans. See, over the last few weeks, Bad Baby has been going live on Instagram and delivering some of the spiciest social media meatballs that I've ever had the displeasure of seeing. Now to clarify, Daniel Bregoli is her name. Her name isn't Bad Baby. That's actually the only two words my dad said to me as a newborn before abandoning me. Her real name is obviously Danielle Bregoli and Bregoli has always sounded like a type of pasta to me. So I'm gonna be using pasta as a metaphor for what's been going on recently. Now let's say that we as humans are all pasta and that the different shapes of pasta are the different races. Sure, we may look different, but at the end of the day, we're all made out of the same shit. Now let's say that a piece of penne is a white person and a piece of fusilli is a black person. The penne can never really be the fusilli, but if it really wants to try, it can attempt to contort the natural order of things and end up looking like a bit of a fucking mess. Case in point, Daniel Bregoli, the queen of pasta, the spiciest meatball. We're gonna start this video with a live stream from the 10th of April. Yes, by the way, for once I'm not months behind on the trends, so subscribe already, goddammit. Now I don't really understand why Danielle decided to go live here. It almost seems as if her makeup artist was the one who set it up. I'm just gonna show you the clip. Uh, it's like an anti-CV showing this to the world. It's hard for me to understand how a makeup artist could be this self-destructive. Hold on, Danielle. I want to put this on Instagram Live, okay? I'm going to borrow your phone. Just make sure this thing is on. Take a look at how much of a disaster this is. Now, Danielle doesn't speak too much in this live stream. A very good decision from her PR team there. Please give a massive raise to whoever told her to do that. She does take a moment to smoke every now and then. A blunt. I love this clip because it just shows how wrong the shade of her foundation is. Danielle, if you're gonna do like a fucking chameleon and change color, then at least change the color of your entire body. The difference between her hand and her face here is just so obvious. Okay, essentially what I'm trying to say is whatever she's smoking right here, please give me a truckload of it. You'd have to be practically unconscious not to realize just how much your skin tone has changed here. And right now I'd really appreciate feeling like that. If there's one thing that I could recommend to anyone who's interested in this situation, don't watch her live streams. In this Instagram live, she says, nothing for about 10 minutes. All it's really achieved is more people are now convinced that she's been blackfishing recently. Because no, this is not a one-off. And actually, there's a part two to this stream. And again, she says absolutely nothing. She just kind of flaunts her new look in front of thousands of people without even saying a single word. To what avail, though? Can't you just post a photo on Instagram and show the look off there? It would be like a director showing the behind the scenes of a film before the film's even out. But at this point, people are claiming that she's blackfishing on the majority of her posts. Now, this is the post that she made after finishing her Instagram live. Now you'll notice here at the bottom of the screen that the comments on her posts have now been limited. But if I'm being honest here, the damage has already been done. You've got the classic clout-hungry verified Instagram accounts posting any kind of compliment they can come up with just to get a bit more presence on the app. Sheesh, turn the fuck up, bitch. Turn up what, I hear you asking? Hopefully the voice of reason. It's a no from me, Orange. <laughs> it's a no from me. Who are you, Simon Cowell? And here we have a reply from Darth Vader. No! There's also people defending her as you'd have with any influencer. Here come the blackfish comments, y'all gotta chill. And they say that because obviously there are so many more cases of Danielle being called out for blackfishing. But if you go over to her most recent post, there's actually no comments about it. Probably helps that there's just no comments in general. <laughs> I'm so pretty. You know you've reached a new low when you're one of the only four people actually complimenting you at this point. In a post that she made on the 6th of April, the tone of her face is even more distinct from the tone of her body. She's really gone for the flaming hot Cheeto wig as well. A further reminder that this post was not made in good taste. God, I'm so sassy. Wow, I love me. Her face, <laughs> her body. <laughs> I mean, that says it all, really. In some posts, she's even resorted to not showing her face so that she doesn't get in trouble. There's one of her twerking, which I'm obviously going to censor. Danielle, please calm down. You're 17. My meat is exterminated. Oh, oh my god. 17 is just a number. <coughs> please don't let your meat be the only part of you that you exterminate. Please genuinely consider a lobotomy. Again, she did all of this on an Instagram live stream and reposted it as a video for whatever reason. But you don't need to come to Danielle's Instagram page to find videos of her twerking. In fact, if you merely type in Daniel Bregoli on YouTube, YouTube, there are dozens of compilations of Daniel Bregoli twerking. And let's be honest, those are the two things that every 17 year old wants to be known for. I like to call it throwing it blackface. All in all, the purpose of this video is to say that Instagram Live is a bad thing. I do think the argument can be made that Daniel Bregoli hasn't been 
purposefully blackfishing. But for someone with so many followers, you should really hire someone to help you gather your thoughts and deliver them into an actual statement. Whatever you do, Danielle, please just don't go on Instagram Live and make this situation even worse. So she went on Instagram Live and made the situation even worse. Responding to a problematic Instagram live stream with another even more problematic Instagram live stream is one of the most astounding things that I've ever seen on social media. It's like going, hey, I just punched my dog in the face and he's really sad about it. But I made it up to him by hitting him in the face with a hammer. If you make errors so regularly on Instagram Live, perhaps just don't go live on Instagram anymore. I say that because having the wrong shade of foundation is something that can easily be changed. For example, she talks here about how her makeup wasn't blended and the lighting was weird. Y'all talking about because the fucking, the light, the way the light was, that's a fucking uh, uh, makeup light. It's supposed to, I, I just, I guess it, I'm not supposed to, but it just made me look darker. I've never known of a light that makes you darker. This one in particular seems to evade the laws of physics as it only changes the color of her face and not her hand. But then again, I know nothing about makeup. So when she says that the makeup wasn't blended correctly, she may well be telling the truth. Later on in this Instagram live, she mentions that her makeup artist is black and also that she was doing the shoot of Black China's house. Y'all won't tell me that I'm trying to be black while I did that photo shoot at Black China's house with a black makeup artist. And that seems like a pretty fair argument to be making. If her makeup artist was white and was using such a dark tone, I think that would be more of an issue. But I mean, when all's said and done, you hired the wrong guy. Because if doing that was his decision, then Jesus, man, you need to find a new career. And this is coming from a man who knows close to nothing about makeup. But she mentions that Alex, her makeup artist, used a tone to make her look more tanned. But I put on a foundation that makes me look tan. That makes me look tan, that I didn't even do, that Alex did. You can't use makeup to make yourself look more tanned because you end up looking like a big overgrown Oompa Loompa that escaped the fucking factory. Just go outside, bro. Well, not right now, obviously. Maybe just sit beside a south facing window and pray to the Titan God Helios every night before you sleep. Can someone please explain to me the desire of some people to look more tanned, by the way? I have probably the most white skin tone possible. I wouldn't even call myself white, okay? I look like a slice of ham. But I'm comfortable with that. Why should anyone be uncomfortable? with the color of their skin. Except the fact that you look like ham, okay? It's not a problem. Regardless, if it's true that it wasn't her decision to use that tone of foundation, then her makeup artist is certainly a scapegoat here. I do think she should have seen the comments on her Instagram lives and her posts in general and decided to not post things like this anymore because who wants attention like this? For example, she speaks about how all of these comments could be affecting her career. Now, I'd really like you all to focus on what she says here. Do y'all understand what that does for me? When labels and when other artists and when other a and and other managers see that shit, they don't really look into it. They don't, they don't give me a chance. They I've got a really easy and quick solution to this one, Danielle. Just take a moment, pause, breathe, use your brain because you do have one and don't go on Instagram live. Because if some label executive has caught wind of this situation, then you really wouldn't want them to see what you say in the rest of this live stream. If I wanted to be fucking black, you would hear me talking about I'm black, I'm black. I would be saying the N word. I don't act black. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Who wants to be black? I don't understand that. Oh no. <laughs> Danielle! So she doesn't wish that she was black, okay? Ignore my title, it's a complete lie. Because at the end of the day, who would want to be black? Thanks for that, Danielle. Who would want to be black? You know that phrase that you can't put toothpaste back in the tube? Instagram Live is like getting a huge tub of Colgate and just squeezing it all over the internet for everyone to see. Oh, hey, that's weird. All the attention is on me for saying something stupid. Why did I make it worse? Who would want to be black? It's like Danielle has looked up all of the worst things you can say if you're in the position of being labeled as racist or blackfishing. She tries to move the blame onto another celebrity, for example. Little Kim wears foundation that, and no disrespect towards Little Kim, I, I'm actually a fan of her. I know disrespect to her. No, I may be living under a rock here, but who's little Kim? Is it Kim Kardashian's mini me or something? I love how Danielle says no disrespect here. Like no disrespect to anyone, but I am going to throw them under the bus. No shade to them, but take the attention off me because what they're doing is even worse. The girl went and got a nose job to have to have a smaller nose like white people. Like y'all don't see that? She turned herself into, and I'm like I said, no disrespect towards her. She do, I don't, I don't I guess it's an attempt to quell any drama before it happens, but it also discredits everything that you say and it wouldn't stop the other person from feeling disrespected. It's like telling someone, ooh, you're ugly, stupid, and fat, but no offense, bro. Just a joke, bro. <laughs> Just an epic prank. At least little Kim can take solace in the fact that she's not what people are focusing in on in this live stream. You know that thing that every racist person says? Oh, I can't be racist. I've got black friends. No, I'm not kidding. She also goes in that direction. You think, you think I would have a black best friend? <laughs> so now her friend knows that when she looks at her, that's what she's thinking. Yeah, my friend over there. Which one, sorry? You can't miss her, mate. She's black as fuck. And she goes from labeling her own best friend in that way to saying that she never thinks about race. My aunt 
A&R Drew, he's black. I had, I've had multiple black security. Every dude I've talked to, I've never even fucking oh, talked to a white right boy. Now. I don't even look at race, bro. I really don't. Do you understand that you've contradicted yourself in a single sentence there, Danielle? Oh, I never look at race, but you'll only catch me with black dudes, okay? You never see me with a white guy. Just like my best friend, you gotta be black as fuck. Now, my favorite clip in this live stream by far is when she tries to provide a metaphor for her upbringing. And maybe a reason of me trying to be like, I grew up in a hood. Tarzan, right? Oh, oh. Oh no, Danielle, no. I think quite possibly the worst thing you could say about being raised around black people is comparing it to a jungle. What am I even meant to say here? Sure, she probably meant it innocently. What she's trying to say is that she's a byproduct of her environment. She was raised in a very ethnically diverse environment, which is why she acts the way that she does, even though she's white. But don't compare that to Tarzan, an orphan raised by mountain gorillas. Is that not obvious enough, Danielle? I'm not trying to say Danielle is racist, but her choice of words is just so stupid. And my thoughts on Instagram Live remain the same. Everyone makes mistakes, okay? Sometimes you say something incorrect or stupid. You do not resolve that by doing the exact same thing over and over again. Put all of your words into a Word document and really think about what you're saying. Because it's really hard to feel sympathy for someone when they're trying to nullify the effects of a previous live stream if you go live again and end up saying things which are far worse. But I hope you've enjoyed this train wreck as much as I have. And I wanted to end this video by giving a little thank you for all of the support recently. I had a really strong first few weeks in this quarantine period, but the last week has just taken so much life out of me. And I just wanted to say thank you for all of the support you've all been giving me over on Instagram and Twitter. And I want us all to be leaving some positive vibes down below. Let's all have a chat. And if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new or have not done so already. That is very important to me. And yeah, have a great day. I'll catch you next time.